Today we have something a little different. This is my kit that goes into almost every job that I'm on, almost regardless of what it is. This is my caulking touch-up kind of punch list little set, and it has a little bit of everything in it. I just had it out on this job this morning. We're getting ready to put a backsplash in here and some new Formica and whatnot. Thought I'd show y'all what I carry. So, to start with, the big tools I used to use, and my helpers still do, this is the ETS 2000 Dripless. Yeah, you can see this one's been around the barn a few times. But uh, I'm not a big fan of this, this particular caulking gun, but some of my helpers are, so we keep these around for them. Uh, the metal dripless guns from Sherwin are actually pretty good. The dripless brand is sold at Sherwin-Williams and obviously on Amazon and whatnot. A lot of this stuff I'll try to stick down in the links. If I can find links to where you can get it on Amazon, make it real easy, it'll be down there if, if it's findable. But we've, we've used dripless guns from Sherwin for a long time. The metal ones I've gotten along fantastic with. Apparently the plastic ones can be hit or miss. It just depends because I have a helper that has one that absolutely loves it, and I have this one here, and I absolutely hate it, but another helper loves it, so who knows? Anyway, the gun that has replaced these for me has been the Tajima Convoy Ultralight, and this is just a super cool uh, gun. It's a lot lighter even, well, maybe a little bit lighter even than the plastic dripless. It's a shorter setup. Just, just super nice. It's a little different in that the way the, the caulking tubes load. The front comes off of this gun, and you actually can just pull your tube, you drop it in, and line, it, line these up, lock it, and you're good. You're ready to roll right there. So it gives you a nice even pressure all the way around your tube and everything. You know, unlike some of these like this, where your tube drops in the side, these are fine, but you are you get a little different experience. It's kind of hard to explain, but this drives everything without any twisting in your tube if you're pushing a thicker compound or something. This one, though, if you're going for thicker stuff, if you use a lot of OSI quad and stuff like that, then this gun over here is a whole lot better. But this one here, the Tajima Convoy Ultralight, this one I use every single day. There will be a link for this one down below. It's like $19 or something like that. Not bad at all. They can take a little bit of time to get sometimes because these are, I think these are, uh, I think Tajima is Japan. But these are very, very nice ones along with their, their chalk lines. If you like Tajima chalk lines, their Tajima caulk guns are spot on too. Anyway, highly recommend this, this one here. There is one thing that this gun is missing though, that is a slight annoyance. There's no rod to poke your tube. So if you're using, so the reason I have this is mainly for my painter's caulks, my Sherwin-William 950A, my da Alex Flex, Dynaflex, all that stuff, Dynaflex 230, the ones that don't have a, a uh, plastic stopper in here that you have to pop, you know. So, like on your ETS 2000s, you have your little rod right here that you can pop it with. So, if that's an issue for you, there you go. Just know that going in, this does not have a puncture tool on it, or at least that I have ever found. If it is here, they have hit it very well. But, it's an amazing caulking gun. Like, for being up on a ladder and everything else, it's just perfection. I love this thing. Anyway. Yeah, I can talk about a caulking gun for a long time, apparently. But here is the other one. If you're using a lot of OSI quad, thick stuff, and you need that compound leverage with your hand, they give you a really nice, comfortable handle and everything. And this one, Tajima also. This is the Tajima Convoy Super 26. Right there. Super 26. Has a 26 back here and all that, too. Metal reinforcing through here, and you could put a little carabiner on it or something. To hold it to your belt or your ladder the same you know this one's got a loop spot here as well but this one has a big puncture rod on it so since i keep both these caulking guns in there if i ever need to run something that needs punctured in the black one it's not a problem to pop it with my 26 
But this caulking gun will push stuff like OSI quad and your thicker, your thicker sealants with a lot less effort on your part. I was borderline force, forcing me to go ahead and buy a battery caulking gun because, man, you install a few windows or doors in a day and you're running a lot of that OSI quad sealant, yeah, you won't be able to hardly use your hand the next day and that can't be good for you long term. So this Super 26 has really helped with that and you get a whole lot better compound leverage with this gun. But this, this is a lot heavier duty gun than, than this one. I bet you even with this one with that piece of tuba caulk in it is still a little bit lighter than this gun. But great little set of guns there. Otherwise, I carry, this is, let's go ahead and get into this here. Meat and potatoes, you might say. What do I carry every day for touch-ups? I like my microfiber rags. Always have one of these wet, stick it in my back pocket, whatever, while I'm caulking. Like to have one little caulk gun or one little pry bar in here, one of those little Dasco Pro caulk, uh, pry bars. A couple different sizes of nail sets, and I have gone to the spring tool ones mostly, but these are still in my caulking setup here. So, anyway, kind of handy for when you're caulking. Obviously, your little five dollar caulking tool, whatever it is, some all way or something or another. Kind of nice if you got to strip out some silicone or something out of a crack here. And it's got three different little sizes of beads that you can create with this. You just peel that off and reattach it with whatever size corner that you want your bead size to be. These are great. Just buy a few and keep one in everything you caulk with. Sanding block, 120 grit. Always need one of those handy. A little bit of painter's tape. Sometimes if you're doing silicone, use some painter's tape. It can save you. And then I always have some Lexel in here. There's a piece of tube of Lexel over here too. Really like this stuff if you need to be clear, if you're doing something on the outside of a window, uh, whatever. This, this stuff is amazing stuff. Um, normal little purdy, I don't know if we call it an eight and one or what, but this one's a folding purdy. Snaps out just like a knife, bottle opener, can opener, scraper, roller cleaner. It's got all that good stuff. The back end has a nice metal plate on it, so if you need to knock something in while you're painting, folds up really nice and not sharp to go in your pocket. Has a paint can opener when it's closed right there on the back end too, so kind of cool. Anyway, great little tool. Sherwin has these. I don't know if Lowe's has them or not, but I'll try to link stuff. Extra uh, blades for my scraper. My paint scrapers are in there in a little tube. OSI gutter sealant. I always have a little, I like to just get the little squeeze ones for this. I don't, they're just handy. Most of the time you're just sealing up a few screw heads or something like that that they're complaining about leaking. Then a couple kinds of plastic wood. A lot of what we run into is oak, so I carry golden oak and white. Just white plastic wood. It's great because it's already white. All you have to do, is, it's, if you need something a little more solid than caulk in a bigger crack or something, go ahead and fill it with that and then you can paint over it and be done with it. Then I have a couple little stains in here too. Gunstock oak, which is what a lot of the floors around here are, stuff like that. And some golden pecan. The older cabinets from the 70s, a lot of times they're one of these two colors or a mixture of the two. You can get a lot done with just those two. And some white wood putty, just Minwax wood putty. My pipe sealants. See, during the winter, this box goes in the house every night. So this is kind of my, my go stuff. If I have boxes and boxes of caulk on larger jobs, they just get left on the job site. But this one is just, it goes in the house every day. So I keep my extra plumber's putties in here and my, uh, my pipe joint compound, yellow and white. But on this side, thing of Type Bond 2 Premium Wood Glue, pretty much my favorite of the Type Bonds. Uh, white silicone. Most of these houses have brown uh, trim on the outside, and it's literally the brown color from Dynaflex Ultra. So I keep a tube or two of that in here. Really nice for touching up if you're, if you're working on one like that. Some Alex Fast Dry white painter's caulk, and I keep a tube of Schluter Curdy Fix in here, brand new tube. This stuff, 
you've never used it. This stuff is some serious waterproofing stuff. Um, clear Dynaflex Ultra. Window glazing. Kind of nice to have one of those handy if you need to pop in a new piece of glass or something. We have some great glass companies here that I can get glass from pretty fast. Quick seal. Tub surround power grab. A lot of rentals around here have the plastic tub surrounds and you'll have a corner coming loose or inside the shower you'll have the soap dishes, the little thing those are on, an edge will be coming out. You can just shoot some of this in behind and it's zero second instant grab just like most of the power grab. So you can just bam, have it fixed. It's great. Then all purpose power grab also, Express. Nice for most stuff like that really. My tube of Lexel and another thing of Alex Plus mold. And this is one of my favorite caulks right there. The Crack Proof Premium Molding and Trim Sealant. Use a lot of that. But anyway, that is pretty much what I carry. Just as my little carry in everywhere, touch up anything kind of a kit here. I want to show you guys my favorite couple caulking guns there. Highly recommend those Tajima guns. I really love them. If you can't get a Tajima gun, then go to Sherwin and get the metal dripless gun. It, it's, it's as close as you can get to the Tajimas, you know, as far as quality goes. So great equipment, great little setup. If you're looking to put a little kit together like this, super, super handy. And this is the older Festool Sys tackle box. Just this is the deep one. Um, it's just a little tall, a little shorter than that. So you got 10 inches to right here. Uh, Holds a caulk really nice, but you can't stack this, so this is always on the very top of whatever sustainer stack you're rolling around. But since you need to be in and out of it all the time, that's kind of where it needs to be anyway. But don't forget to hit that like button down there if you like this video. Give me a comment if there's anything you think I'm missing in my little finishing kit here. Uh, and I'm curious if there's some stuff you guys carry that I don't carry in here. But this has, it, it's constantly changing so everything that I need to use every single day gets put in here and it's just, it's just fantastic. But thank y'all for being here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more awesome tool videos and we'll see you guys on the next one. Later.